All right, y'all. We are here in Honolulu. It's like paradise, heaven on earth. I've heard it called multiple names. So we are flying out of Nashville to Denver, Colorado. We have like an hour to get to our next flight. And then oh, we're gonna go to LA. We got two, three hour layover there. Three hour layover. And then, and then we're gonna fly to Honolulu, right? Which arrive in Hawaii at 10 o'clock at night. So like 10 p.m. their time. I think it's like 3 a.m. Yeah. Tennessee time. So we're gonna have a long day. And so that's why we're trying to find us some movies to make the long flight a little bit faster. How tired are you? I'm so tired. <laughs> and we've not even started. <laughs> I'm stressed about my charger situation. Christian is stressing me out by saying I can't work. We'll make it our work. Our little DIY last minute can't work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, our charger deal with the computer, we do not have the right charger. We're trying to use a USB-C. We hope that works with our Apple Bot. So, have we a hope really so. powerful laptop that needs the specific charger that you can't just find it anywhere. So when yes. you lose it, Bad day, you know? And we really want to watch some shows because, like I said, it's going to be a really long day. You know what? We will let y'all know if it's worth going like that far for your honeymoon or if it's better to just do like a honeymoon that's closer travel wise and then go on an anniversary trip that's like 12 hours away. Last time I was on a plane for that long was when we came from Germany. It was a long day too, but it was exciting because I was so excited. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get some clips and get the update, but. We're super excited, and here goes the long, long, long day. Alrighty, so we just landed in Denver. We're trying to get to our gate, then we go to Los Angeles and then to Hawaii. I know. Look at, look at my beautiful bride. I call her Wifey. I know it's so weird to say. How you doing, wife? <laughs> but so far so good. I'm ready to go travel six miles before I need another one. Alright y'all, we are boarding our flight. Last one? Yes, last one. We have a five and a half hour flight to Hawaii, Honolulu. So, it's gonna be a late one. Which is like three or four o'clock our time back in Tennessee, so. Yes. Alrighty, off to Hawaii. Really pretty sunset. We are in Hawaii trying to get our baggage. It was a long, long, long flight. We both didn't feel the best right now. I don't feel the best. Something did not sit the right it's, with me. You know, it's the airport. It's airport to mixed with like altitude. It's just after 12 hours, it's not good anymore. No. Y'all, we are here in Hawaii. We just checked into our place. We're going up to the 24th floor. Are you excited, babe? She's a little nauseous. It's been a long day. So back, what time is it in Morristown right now? On our watch yourselves in Morristown time. It's almost, it's 5 15 a.m. 5.15 and we have not slept at all. So, here we go. Are you gonna walk in there first? Am I walking in there first? Yes. Come on. This is not the water place. What? Nice place. Look at that. This is 
is our view. Okay, here we go. It's dark, but the beach is less than five minutes away. We got a rooftop pool. here in Honolulu we're in our little place it is so nice now I do feel like it was a long just a long day we got over here and we got all checked in at like midnight Hawaii time but it was on your watch it said like six o'clock back like where we're from so we had a whole 24 hour travel day yes. basically. and then I woke up at six because that's when my body said I was awake because I thought I was like really late <laughs> so now we're going so we're going to get some breakfast. I'll it's show you show where now. we're going. We're here. Let me show you this view first. This view is just absolutely epic. So we're actually going right down there for breakfast. And then this is where we're at. Honolulu. We got Waikiki. So it looks amazing. Sunrise came up right over there and it was just just gorgeous this morning. Absolutely gorgeous. Bunch of surfers are out there surfing right now. It's just incredible. Just imagine being here. The weather is just, ah, it is so nice. So we're off to get breakfast and start our little venture. It actually looks so good. Okay, I'm so excited. That is beautiful. I think I need to come here every morning. Got our groceries. Grace being sweet and carrying them. Alrighty, we're walking around Waikiki. It's so pretty. We're gonna go find the Hawaii Five O building. So I'm gonna take a picture for next. Yes. Watching all of it. It's like 20 minutes away, so we gotta get a rental car and go do that. Right now, we are just walking around. Gonna go to the beach. Yeah. We have a. Gotta find us a good beach. We also have a rooftop pool, so that's kind of fun. We've been up there this morning. Time is really throwing me off because it feels so late, but it's only 12. But back home it's like six or seven, so that's throwing me off a little bit. I also but, feel like it feels weird not to have stuff to do. I feel like all I do is rush around, and right now I don't have to. And it's weird. That's nice. So here we are. So we're just relaxing. At some point, I gotta go find me makeup because I forgot my entire bag. I was like, toiletries with makeup and stuff in it, which I'm a little annoyed about, but. All right, y'all, it is day three here in Hawaii, Waikiki. We, the first couple days we just chilled. We hadn't rented a car yet. We just walked to different places. We went to Waikiki Beach, we went to the mall, stuff like that. And right now we are off to the airport to get a rental car and we're going to tour the island for a couple of days. So, super excited, can't wait, gonna go on some hikes, stuff like that. I'm so excited to finally see one more. Yes. I feel like I've not seen one, I think that's one. So, here we go. Trace is gonna show us his favorite beach today. Um, and his favorite, not ice cream, what is it? Frozen yogurt. Yes, I do love and frozen yogurt. I will let y'all know if the frozen yogurt is as good as he makes out of me. Yes, ma'am. Honeyman. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Where'd you get married at? Uh, in Tennessee. It is literally just driving through here. It's so fun. Let me show y'all how pretty. It's just so beautiful. You see all the mountains in the back. You can see the tall buildings. And then the ocean is literally like right there. But it's so beautiful. I think today we're just going to go do a chill day around different beaches and get like ice cream stuff and then we're hoping we're gonna, to go hiking tomorrow so yeah we're gonna drive through mountains. the through the mountains to Kailua are we in a minute or are yep we? today we're gonna do that drive through the mountains okay, I'm excited um, I love the mountain and the fact that there's mountains and like the beach right there that seems so nice it does this is like literally my dream because every time 
I'm in the mountains. I'm like, I love the mountains, but I also love the beach. And this is the first time I've ever been to a place that has a boat. We've got a couple more days here. Um, I think we're just trying to go to some different beaches, do a hike. Saturday. Tunnel. And then, oh yeah, Saturday, um, we are going to the flea market. They've got a flea market, I think, yep, on set days. Pearl Harbor. And it's like, what I hear, it's a massive flea market. And we're hoping to get, like, just some little things to take back home. Jeb. <laughs> Sweet Jeb has been reminding Trace that he would love to get a little, like, Necklace, necklace. Yeah. Maui hug. Just like Trace, he wants one to, ha to match Trace. And so we promised him we would. And like the whole week leading up to the wedding, every time he see me, he'd be like, now don't let Trace forget my necklace. Like he promised he's going to bring me a necklace. So, so we're going to go find that. Last but that's time, on Saturday. Last time I was in Hawaii, uh, I was here for a month helping a, a friend remodel a house. And I, I think I bought like seven or eight of them. Work forever till they all broke for years. So that's gonna be fun for so Jeb. Need seven Chad. more. Yes, we will get some more. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Maybe I can find some for my little siblings. They would love that too. Yeah, but, but yeah, the goal is to go on a hike, explore the different beaches, drive through the mountains, find and eat lots of frozen yogurt at Trace Fair Place. Yes. And then also. Um, and my sweet friend Haley Ray from church, she recommended like this coffee shop. So I'm excited to go try that out today and see whether or not it's good. So Haley Ray, I'll let you know if it's good or not. You ready, babe? Look at this, y'all. So why Favo? Let's go get a photo in front of it. Alrighty, we just had a quick stop at the Hawaii Five-O building. Lily is still taking it in. It's so pretty, I could do a photo shoot in front of it. Yes, they have tours, maybe we should go in there. Gorgeous, babe. <laughs> Y'all, we are in downtown Honolulu, right here in the heart of Hawaii. I feel so cool, <laughs> but like, I do need to go watch another Hawaii Five-O. Me and Lydia, we've been watching that show. Right here, y'all. At any time, Steve McGeerick and old Dano can come driving by. In their cool convertible? Yes, in their cool convertible. I think we've officially turned into, like, fangirls. Yes, we have. <laughs> so for all of them. Let's do a little coffee taste test. Let's see if they spelled my name right. Tracy? I don't even know what that says. <laughs> That's like two E's in the end. Yes, Tracy. Is it good? I feel like this one is actually pretty good. So now we are headed to one of my favorite places. Like I said, I spent over here a month over here four years ago, three, four years ago. And there's a little frozen yogurt place that I absolutely love. They have passion fruit. And lychee. Oh, lychee, pineapple. They have some great flavors. So we're gonna go over there, we're gonna eat some lunch, and then we're gonna go over to the Kailua Beach and hang out. Honestly, this one's pretty good. I, this one's a lot better than the first one I had. Good call, Haley Ray. Good job. Mm, good one. Alrighty, let's head to Kailua. Maybe Trey should find construction jobs in Hawaii and I can just shoot on the beaches all day and he could just do construction here. They need, like some of these buildings need help. <laughs> Trey, they need you here. And we can wake up to that. Yes. Let's get you some Wendy's. 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 Get some more energy and then we're yes. gonna go back. To the beach. Over beach. here in Kailua. We've just been cruising around enjoying the views. It's so oh, stunning. It's stunning. So we drove from Honolulu or Waikiki to Kailua and over there, just the view. I know you just saw that, but the view is just 
it's epic, incredible. There's also little wild chickens everywhere. Yes. Um, growing up in Germany, I called everything like ice. I'm sure there's like different names for different types of ice cream in German, but I would just say like ice is, you know, go eat ice cream. And here, I feel like you got ice cream, frozen yogurt, like shaved ice, and I just always say ice, and it's like, no, it's frozen yogurt. Definitely frozen yogurt. That's what we're going to get so. next after we eat all of this. I'm actually food. excited about the apple. I'm very excited about this too. It's called we'll chicken. See you eat your delicious French fries. Whatever French fries. We're gonna do a series one day of us just trying. Trying different foods. Trying different foods. Right? Uh, we should do it. Yes, I can, I'm actually we for should that. do. We, we can try different hamburgers, different pizza, different cheese pizza, different. BLTs. You know. no, no, no. We've got to try. We got to do a video of you just trying German candy. Yes. Comment below if you want to see Trace trying different candies. He's very particular with what he eats, but I feel like let, I would be very entertained watching it. And then after that, I will take you to my tops. Let me just tell all the followers a little bit about me. I know that you followed our story in us the last year but a little bit about me trace is a very picky eater trace does not like onions trace does not like garlic trace if trace tastes i know i'm talking about me in the third person but if i taste the onion on my burger i cannot eat it like something about it garlic garlic mashed potatoes i usually throw up the next day it's happened multiple times i don't like really like it a lot so with that i'm very picky so me trying different things is a lot different than just I feel like someone else trying different things. <laughs> Which just makes the video so much more fun. Mm -hmm. I will be nice to you and I will get as good candy, okay? <laughs> I think it'd be so fun. And then after that we can do one of me trying all of Trace's favorite sodas because I feel like I don't drink soda. Actually that would be a fair trade. If you drink root beer, a full root beer. <sighs> No, no, no. I would actually. I don't. I don't. I cannot. I don't drink soda at all. So I, I can do taste tests. So I can taste test all your favorite sodas. I'll take one sip, and you can drink all the rest of it. I'm right here in the heart of Kalua, and I'm going to eat Frost. That's the place. Frozen yogurt. I am hoping. I'm so hoping they have passion fruit and lychee. 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 I'm hoping they have those of the frozen yogurt options. So, we're gonna go there, get some frozen yogurt, and then we're about three minutes away from driving to the Kailua Beach, and that's where we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon and try to make it back to Waikiki for sunset. Okay, I am just gonna film Teresa's reaction to this frozen yogurt place. Yes, great memories, great uh, memories, great memories. I'm so, so excited, excited, very excited. We have made it. Look at it. So his two favorite flavors, they don't have them. I'm sure he's going to be sad about it. Alrighty. They you want to make me one? You're not actually going to get it. That's the size of your head. Yes. Okay. Are we going to share it or should I get me a tiny one? There you go. That's where it's at. Mm, passion fruit toppings. You want some of these? I can eat. Get lots of those. Yes, I'm going to. I gotta get every flavor. Strawberry. This is where all the money is going to be at in this top. Popping bub bubbles. Mm. That's a lot of boba. Okay. Tell me what y'all think. That's so much boba. Yes, it is. Let me tell y'all, all the way from Tennessee, okay, that actually right so here good. in Kailua, Hawaii. I came for this right here. <laughs> no, I came for this right here. But yes, this is a bonus. Let's see what it tastes like. 
Oh my goodness, you just don't even want to know. Uh, it's like paradise, heaven on earth. I've heard it called multiple names. I'll just name a few. Oh my goodness. Mm. I gotta get past the boba. Mm. This is not fair. This should not be this good. I think it's good. If y'all wanna know. We don't live right beside this place. Yes, this is my weakness, and that is frozen yogurt. There's something about it. Ah, so I'm trying right now a little bit of mango with strawberry, popping bur bus, whatever they're called. Boba. Boba. Lechi passion fruit. Oh, yeah, all of those. I ain't pronouncing it right, but they taste great when they go down. It's really good. Yes, it's amazing. It's, amazing. it's, it's out of this world. Listen, if you're debating on where to go for vacation, you could go to Florida. Nah, you need to go to Hawaii just to come to Frost right here. I'm giving them an ad just to come to Frost and try their frozen yogurt. It's the best. I've tried multiple frozen yogurt, but there's nothing like this. Just giving it 10 stars, 5 stars, Wait, 5 yeah, out let of me 5, rate 10 it. out of 10. Rate it 10 out of 10, and then let me give it stars. Yeah, definitely, it's a 5 star. So our day could not get a start off better. It's been amazing so far. We woke up, and we saw beautiful sunrise. The most epic sunrise ever, y'all. You don't understand how pretty it is. So Our whole place that we have, the whole curtain goes back and we just see over the town and we get to see sunrise right over Diamond Head. I hope you enjoy tagging along with us for a day and to see kind of a little bit of what we're doing over here. And then hopefully in the next couple of days we're gonna get some more fun adventurous footage. Yes, so tag along right with us, y'all. to try to go down to the bottom to try to find the caves. Having fun? All right, y'all. Look what we found. We're in here. It's like a secret place. It feels like. Let me show you this view. I know, ain't it amazing? Let me go back to the view. There it is. There she is. The actual view. But okay. Check this out. This beach behind us. It's like magical. It's so pretty. So. We're just touring today, driving around, looking at different things. I think Lydia's happy, that's what she wanted. Y'all, that was just stunning. Absolutely stunning. We're gonna come back tomorrow because our hike it's really close to here, and it's the lighthouse. It's a very, very cute lighthouse, and I have always wanted to go look at one. But I think you just hike to where you can see it. Yes. So, we're going to come back here. The water looks so clear that we're going to chill there, and then take some photos. At least you can bring your camera. Yeah, so if you follow our social medias, then you can check out all the photos there. My last name like, <laughs> it was actually so fun. To date, so now it's Lydia yep. Stay tuned. That actually, I was a little, but that was very fun. Day three, three of our honeymoon here in Hawaii. And we just found the prettiest beach. Okay, that is pretty to look at that. Oh my goodness. Let me 
me show you how this. Wow. Wow. It's just pretty every direction. It's hard to capture it on video, honestly. It is so pretty. We both said that those like little houses up on that hill remind us of like San Diego, which was so fun. We went there for lots of spending. So far, day three could not have been better. It's just been amazing just from the get go. We're watching up. sunrise this morning. So I think tonight we're gonna go see sunset, part of the beach, but we're gonna get some groceries and just kind of relax the rest of the day. But it has been just absolutely amazing, our time here so far. I know, we have actually watched a lot of sunrises, which we weren't expecting to, but with the time change, it just feels like it's like noon at 5 a.m. But it has been so fun. It's so relaxing, I feel so relaxed. I was talking to my mom the other day and I said it just feels so weird us just being up here by ourselves. And it's so weird taking this big trip. It's awesome. It Don't get me wrong. It's been amazing. But it's just so weird without having any family. We, Me and Lydia both just love hanging out with people. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been fun just to get to know each other better and just spend time with each other. It has it's been, been absolutely amazing. I think we're gonna look back and you know, this, this will be like the funnest memories but yeah it is it's so different it's so fun what do you think of that sunset it's pretty epic day all righty y'all it is day four of our honeymoon in Hawaii and today we're going to do some fun things right babe what are we going to do uh, hike. yes we're gonna go hike up to a lighthouse then we're gonna go back to that really cool place we went yesterday with the water hole and we hang out there for a little bit take some photos and Lydia got her camera get some photos and then we're going to see sunset on the beach we, last night we watched it over the building on top of our roof that was fun Tonight we're going down to the beach, so stay tuned. All right, Lydia, how's the hike going so far? I'm really out of shape. <laughs> Lydia told me, sent me the link, but I just assumed it was just like a, you know, 10 minute hike. It's like two miles. Well, it's so it's like, like a 15 minute hike. Something. <laughs> and he was like, wait, what? We have to bring water. We'll be hot for a while. Look at this view. Check this out. Oh yes, it's amazing. <laughs> How cool is that, y'all? The view is just absolutely epic. We got Little Miss Photographer. Lydia Bates. Mm -hmm. Look that at her go. That sounds so weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, babe. I want to jump in the water. Look at this, y'all. Absolutely, look at this. There's a little lighthouse over there. Check that out. I'm sorry for all the wind, but this place is just gorgeous. The walk was well worth it. It's tiring, but it's just absolutely beautiful. The wind is so nice too. It feels so nice. Prettiest thing of everything. Alright, babe. Describe the view up here. <laughs> That's hard to describe. It's like breathtaking. And it's windy. And you can't really get to the couch. Let's just say it was a hot, very hot. We made it. Hot walk, but it was fun. It like took us probably at least an hour. Probably but more than that. Yeah, we're gonna so go do some of the deep and then go to the beach. It is so hot. We're ready to jump in the water. Yes. But yeah, 
It was a fun hike. That it was. Um, we just got to remember that the sun here rises early and it gets hot early. Oh yeah. So hikes, I would do them at seven if I were y'all. Not a nine. But it was fun. Maybe we can insert some pretty photos. <laughs> we're heading over to a beach close by, really close to Waikiki, but it's better for sunset. So we're heading over there. It's very pretty. Let me show y'all this. Look at that view. It's just so beautiful with the clouds. But yeah, so as you can see, it's getting a little darker and we are gonna go find the sunset. That we are. All right, y'all, we are here to watch sunset. You got to see this. This is the most epic view ever. Babe is, babe is trying to capture it, but let me show y'all what this is. Look at the little photographer right there. Hey, babe. Hey. It's not a wedding. All right, y'all, sunset was a success. It was beautiful. Hopefully you just enjoyed that time lapse. Now we're going to something that Lydia has been wanting to do from the very start, and that is go over to the sailboats and take some photos. So we're right here, yes. And they shoot off fireworks tonight, so we're trying to figure out when they're gonna do that. But let me show you the view, like Lydia said. Alrighty, so we're just sitting here and tear the fireworks go off. Lydia, you can see your subboats in the back. She enjoys watching those. They're all parking. Small hall parking, but whatever. Who else enjoys that? Boom, look at that view. She's incredible. I love you. Don't zoom into my I forgot to get my makeup. Alrighty y'all, it is a great day today. It is Saturday over here in Hawaii. It is day five of our honeymoon. I'm wearing orange, supporting Barbers United, the best barber in Knoxville, but I'm wearing orange because Tennessee played and Tennessee won. Good job, Tennessee beat LSU 40 to 13, great game. Woke up at four this morning to watch a little bit of game day and watch the game, super exciting. Right now, we are doing one of the coolest things is we're here at the stadium here in Hawaii and they have their flea market every Saturday. So we're gonna try, it is very big. So we're gonna go around, try to find some stuff to take back home. I know Jeb and Judd, they really want necklaces. So we're gonna try to find stuff for her family, but we're just gonna walk around for a couple hours and try to find some little Hawaiian stuff to take back home to the families. Yes, Lydia does yesterday. not want to burn. I did get a little bit of sun on my face, so. Like the burn like disappears the next day, but you know, yes. repeat it. Yes, but it burns a little bit. So that is what we are doing, and here we go. All right, Yardi, we are picking out necklaces for some of our family. Hard to remember what their favorite color is at the moment. I'm trying to remember. Should we just hear a pretty little flower? Yeah. Like the pink one? Should we do hair purple? One of these? Yeah, matching. So yeah, blue and purple. Like Perfect. Matching. Let's do that. Good you think job, Jeb man. and Judd are going to be happy? They're going to be so happy. And Sarah and Becky? Yes. Let's go get some more stuff now. Alrighty, baby, tell me tell me everything that you plan on getting. <laughs> Depends on what I find, but I would like to bring a magnet home from my mom every place I go, I bring her one. We have a nice collection of all the places I've gone. Okay. And our fridge, so I gotta find a cute one. 
preferably with a beach on it or a turtle because we love turtles. Um, Okay. And then also maybe a spring or something. Yes. Should we get your swa ukulele? Those are hard to like transport them. Yes. I don't know where I'd put it, but otherwise I would get them with Josh. If I didn't have limited luggage, I would get you one. Should we get should we get your mom and dad a matching outfit? <laughs> should we get them a matching outfit? They would look good in blue. If we get one, we should get How funny is that? So far, the mission is accomplished. We've got a lot of necklaces. Even got Lydia one. Oh, we should put that on you. Hello. 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 And then we've got to find the mayor or something. Yes. And I kind of want to find me a cute ring. Should I find me a cute ring? Hmm. Should we get Christian Aloha. a fanny pack? No. Aloha. Should we get Christian a fanny pack? Christian needs one. <laughs> what are the chances he would actually wear it though? I'm still looking for the magnet. I keep forgetting about the magnet. I think I like this one best. So we have necklaces for some of my siblings and hers we have we have t-shirts for christian and warden joshi and people like that so i think we're ready to roll Coming. all right babe what do you think of our first week in hawaii it was beautiful it was it was more than i could have imagined and I feel a little bit bad about leaving this island. I feel like now I know places. Now I know where to go for the good food and the prettiest beaches. And I'm gonna miss this pretty room that Trace surprised me with. Cause look how fancy these lights are. You like it? And I'm really gonna miss this view. This right here. Every morning we went sunrise every to morning. Like the sunrise, and we just left the windows open all night. And it was that was this would get surprised babe. What are you gonna miss about this? Yeah. I do love the I did love the view. And, this and the room nice. was really nice. We had a rooftop pool, that was fun. And so but now we're gonna go explore another island. So Kauai, here we come. Yeah.